In the Vault Radar Overview pane, you can see I've already scanned and I'm actively monitoring multiple data sources to make sure secrets don't end up hidden in unsecure locations. I've got a lot of work to do to triage and remediate these secrets, but fortunately, the events are categorized and ranked, so I can start with the most severe risks first. There are seven critical events showing in my cat generator repo, so I could start there. In addition to initial or periodic scans of data sources, Vault Radar will automatically scan when it detects updates to content in monitored data sources. So this helps keep secrets out of unsecure locations once you've cleaned things up. I'll quickly demonstrate that. First, I'll jump into a file in my cat generator repo, then enter a new token in, And once I've done that, I'll click Commit Changes, and that's going to trigger a scan by Vault Radar. Back in Radar, I'll select Cat Generator in Resources, and I can see a scan has already started. Once the scan is complete, I can see I now have eight critical events because I just introduced a new secret into an unsecure location. In the Events pane, I can see that new event at the top of my list. I can also see more details of the event when I expand it. I've also taken advantage of Radar's tools integration support to integrate with Slack, and I've configured a channel to alert me whenever a new critical or high severity event occurs so I can investigate and triage it. This real-time alerting also provides me with details of the event and a link to the event in Radar directly to the offending secret. I'll click that link. And we can see the secret I introduced that triggered the scan and subsequent event generation. In the event details, I can see the secret is not currently being stored in our secret manager, so I need to get it securely stored. To help with remediation, I can also click a link to documentation that's going to walk me through the recommended steps. In addition to revoking the secret and removing it from the file, I also need to copy that secret to my secret manager, which in this case is Vault. To enable copy secret capability, I've already connected to my Vault instance and run the Vault Radar agent to index the secret stored there so I can correlate my scan results. That's how I know the secret I found is not also stored in Vault. Here you can see where I've configured my agent to securely connect to data sources and to Vault, and it's currently running. In the Remediation pane under Actions, you can see I've configured the repository sources I want to map to my Vault instance, and then set the path to the secret mount we want to copy the secrets to. To accomplish this, I downloaded the mapping CSV, then added the path to my secret mount and uploaded it. So let's go back to events where I'll select our unsecure secret and then I'll click Store in Secret Manager to copy it over. All I need to do at this point is give it a secret key name for the KV secret and then click Confirm. All the other path information is set and the agent is ready to copy the secret over. Once I've done that, I'll jump over to my Vault Dedicated instance, where I'm logged into the Cat Generator namespace. This is part of the path I set for the Vault instance. There's also a KV Mills Secrets Engine mount I set up ahead of time. And at my secret path, I can see the secret key I set, and the secret has been successfully copied over to Vault. Let's go back into the Vault Radar Events pane. And now you can see where I can filter results for Managed by Vault if I want to. And then when I look at my critical event, I see the secret is now stored in my Vault instance. This demonstrates the better together value of HCP Vault Radar and Vault in helping you more quickly and easily remediate unsecure secrets after you find them.